These women collect some 50 kilos of mussels per day on the coast near Agadir. The women who come from a village called Duira have increased their wages by joining together to form a co-op. They've also set up a small factory where the shellfish can be cleaned, dried and packed. That's a huge improvement over the way they used to work. Thanks to modern technology, we now cook with gas and we've got these large pots. In the old days, we used to steam the mussels in tin cans, for instance, paint cans, on an open fire. For fuel, we used old clothing, plastic and shoes. Junk, basically. And we used to dry the mussels on the ground, where birds and cats came and ate them up. Better processing methods mean they now earn about three times what they used to. Martin Tampa and Farid Uider from the German Agency for International Cooperation help the women get started. The project also helps Moroccans adapt to climate change. It's especially important to work on how things are planned and how risks can be recognized and mitigated. The two development workers are visiting a new center for environmental observation in Agadir. It collects climate data in the region. Director Fatiha Fadil emphasizes that the information will be generally accessible. We intend to put the information on the internet for decision makers, but also for the public at large, be they farmers or consultants. Everyone can learn things on the website. Mariam and Rukia Akado could be two people to profit. Extreme weather phenomena are part of their reality. To try to prevent people from leaving their village, a cooperative has been formed to encourage sustainable agriculture. The women have been learning how to avoid monocultures and how drip irrigation works. There are a lot of advantages to using drip irrigation. Normal methods are difficult because it hardly rains here. Drip irrigation allows us to collect water and use it on our fields. There are a lot of economic and other advantages. These women look likely to stay in their village. <laughs>